Hello everybody, my name is Krebs, and welcome back to War Thunder. Firstly, I have a little bit of a cold, so please bear with me, I might sound a little bit different, but what I'm going to be showing you today is footage from the 1.47 dev server, including new features and all of the new vehicles that they're adding to the game. The first thing that you're going to notice whenever you log into the new patch is you'll be introduced by this, a daily reward. So I imagine every time you log in, consecutively you get bigger and bigger rewards and what's really interesting by the 13th day you can possibly get golden eagles there's also boosters and this inventory system i was talking about yesterday and you can now purchase these battle trophies or crates that give you random chances of getting prizes within them you have the potential of actually spending a smaller amount of golden eagles or you could actually win a big prize like a tank or a plane and you'd save a lot of golden eagles so I gave it a shot just to see what I would actually get because I had about 1700 golden eagles to spare however there's also a very good chance that you're gonna get very something very crummy for example you might lose about half of your golden eagles like I put in 299 and I get a premium account for one day that's like 150 160 golden eagles around that range so I'm basically losing half my golden eagles it doesn't seem- it's quite a bit of risk, and to be honest, I don't think it'd be really worth to spend that money. I think you should save your money and just outright buy whatever you want than taking a risk like this. So they've also added in the boosters, which I don't think are good for bang for buck. For example, 10 plus 10% lions for a single match, and that's 99 golden eagles. I think they really need to fix the pricing of these things and make them a lot cheaper. There's also the tickets that you can purchase, and notice how they have different uh, abilities to them. You can lose up to a certain amount of defeats, you can win up to a certain amount of consecutive wins, and the prizes are bigger, but of course you have to invest more money into that. The events and tournaments are in that tab, and what I was really worried about yesterday was because they said that you could be matched due to player efficiency and not necessarily planes, and I was worried about Furies versus a Bearcat, for example, situation, and that's exactly what happened, so I really hope that they won't continue with that. There's also a new updated reward screen, like this one over here, and also shows you your tournament rewards. It seems like you actually get small rewards along the way, and then an eventual grand prize that you can actually win. New features include contrails behind planes, so the higher altitude you go, there's condensation that appears, cool thing. Heat haze, wherever there is a source of heat, for example, a flaming engine or you're a gun shooting. There's also the ability to look out the driver's viewport when you're driving a tank. And there's also the option of using binoculars. Now, mind you, look at how I'm viewing the distance. There's no grass. Kind of reminds me of like super low graphic settings, if anything, but it is what it is. And also, Artillery, you can switch between the old mode and the new mode. So if you were a fan of the old mode, you can use that. However, I think the new one is better because this old one seems to take a bit more time to use. Now, these are new planes and new tanks, so I'd recommend to just pause the video if you ever want to see facts or some, some sort of statistics about the planes or the tanks or whatever. This is the A20G30. Looks a lot like a DB7, but it has the ability of getting rockets on it. This here is the B-57B, a jet at 7.7 .7 with some pretty darn decent bomb loads. It gets like 8 times 1,000 pound bombs and also rockets as well. Awesome. Love seeing new things like that. This is the B-29 Super Fortress, a plane that everyone has been looking forward to. Unfortunately, it's dead before it's actually even come out because it's at a battle rating of 7.0. But look at its bomb load. 20 500 pound bombs. But I decided to take out 18 by 1,000 pound bombs and just drop them on the airfield here as a test to see what it actually be like. You can imagine the catastrophic damage this plane could actually deal to bases and whatnot. And well, I also decided, screw it, I'm gonna try landing the plane just for a little bit of a challenge on a carrier. Considering it's probably like the biggest plane in the entire game, that might be a feat within itself. It didn't turn out too well. But like I said, plane's kind of dead before it's even come out. 7.0 battle rating. It's going to be shot down by jets. There's the BF-109G14, which is just like any other BF-109. It can get upgrades with extra 20mm cannons or 30mm cannons on it. 
making it another powerful plane to add to the German arsenal. There's also the Focke Wolf 201C, which is a bomber. And you get the variety of different bomb loads, 2 by 1000 kilos, if you actually want it to go up that high. There's a premium plane, the J2M4 Kai Raiden, which is a little bit ridiculous because check this out, you can get two 60 kilo bombs on that thing. Oh my gosh, because that is going to absolutely wreck airfields, isn't it? There's the medium tank M26E1 for the Americans, another premium that's come out to the game. Notice the very expensive price. Oh my gosh, things are getting more and more expensive, aren't they? There's a self-propelled self gun, M42. A new Tiger added to the German uh, arsenal. 6.0 battle rating, making it just slightly higher than the H1. There's also the mouse. Everyone's looking forward to this. Get this. There's a 128mm gun and also a 75mm gun. So you can tickle the enemy and then you can, well, shove them. Put it that way. It's very powerful, it looks like. Also, a Flag 38, Panzerkampfwagen 38, a new Martyr added just after the current Martyr in terms of research tree. And it looks definitely pretty powerful to me. T126, however, it actually looks pretty damn slow. I thought it'd be a speeding tank, however, it has about 36 kilometers per hour to it. And the gun doesn't seem superb, but should be sufficient enough for its battle rating. A T28 looks currently exactly like the T28 that's in the game right now. They've also added in a T54 at tier 5. And last but not least, there is another new feature of having lighting inside your planes. And also opening and closing the canopy. Now, I think this is a really cool feature. It definitely adds to the sort of... I don't know, visual effects of the game, but opening up your canopy can actually have an effect on drag, which is cool. And also another thing to note about these canopies is that you can't close or open them if you exceed a certain speed because of the air resistance. What I did was I tested this out on my jet here, I think it's the LA-174, and I couldn't actually open or close it if I was above 300 kilometers per hour. I had to maintain speed below that. So just check this out. It just sounds so nice hearing the wind go on by. It just sounds really, really cool. But there you guys go. That is one the 1.47 dev server. Pretty much everything in a nutshell of what's going to be coming out. I did not do a full review or whatever of all the new vehicles because I haven't unlocked them firstly. And also, I'd rather do that once I have the ability to actually get them on the normal server. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that video. I hope you found this one interesting. But until the next one, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.